Welcome back to BMJ Fishing. Uh, I told you guys I got a second camera, and here it is. It's the Contour Roam 3. Um, some people might ask me, why didn't you just get another GoPro? You already have a GoPro. You really like it. Um, well, I'll tell you why. This thing here was 160 bucks. That's it. This is the newest uh, model that they have. And um, the reason why I picked this up is because I wanted a camera that I could point back at me. So, uh, you know, take this little lens cap that comes with it here. You can take that off, show you. I wanted a camera that pointed back at me that would be really easy to operate and that had really good audio. And um, from my research, um, I found out that uh, some people, uh, most notably uh, 30 Miles Out, they're a pretty popular uh, kayak fishing channel here on YouTube. They use these all the time and they love them, they swear by them. Um, and that's why I picked it up. I said, hey, you know what, this is 1080p video still, and uh, it's way cheaper than a GoPro. It's uh, waterproof to 33 feet, I believe. So, um, you know, I'm not taking this underwater, or, you know, but if it gets wet, I don't have to worry about it. And what's nice is this right here, this little microphone, um, is waterproof microphone. It picks up sound way better than the GoPro. Uh, the GoPro in the waterproof housing does not do a very good job with sound, as you guys probably know. But, uh, so this doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the GoPro. It doesn't have the ability to change uh, modes to, um, you know, change all different kinds of settings when you're out on the water. But what this does have is really simple operation. I'll show you real quick. Um, you, how you mount it is you mount it on the side rails here. So on either side, you can side the mounts on there. Um, so you can mount it sideways, upside down, however you want to mount it. It also has the a uh, little port here you can put it on a uh, tripod or um, some other kind of camera mount you might have. Um, on the back here you have a little lock that locks this little door so you can't open it. And then you also have uh, this little select button here. So if you push this it will turn on this laser. So if you have this mounted sideways for example you can actually rotate the lens um, to make sure that it's still straight but you have it mounted sideways, upside down. So that's really cool that you can rotate this lens um, so your video is still upright no matter how you mount this. When you open it, uh, really basic. It just has the uh, mini USB to charge it. This here is the button that uh, we just pushed. Uh, your memory card and a format button. So you put your card in, you hit the format button, and it'll format your card for this camera. Uh, and then it also has this little uh, scene select here. So you can plug this in your computer and you can preset two different settings. So for me, I could do like a 1080p, uh, you know, where I can set the video for like sunny days versus cloudy days, or I could do um, 1080p at 30 frames, where I could, and then like the second option could be, you know, anything really. Like right now, I have this set up where. I think number one, I have it set up for the regular factory straight up 1080p. And then number two, I have it set up where the mic sensitivity is, is uh, really cranked up. So uh, I was just doing that to test out the microphone capabilities on it. Um, but yeah, so, so you can set these two to however you want. You know, so you can set it just mic settings, you can set it video settings, um, anything you want there. So although you can't go through a whole menu and pick different options, you, you can still have two presets on there. Um, so to close this up uh, and then on the top same kind of deal you have this little thing that will lock it or unlock it and you, and this is really simple it just forward and it's on it's recording right now you get the red light on the front to let you know you're recording and then hey flick it off and you're done so when I saw this camera you know I knew this is perfect for what I'm doing what I want this to do is point towards me when I get a fish on the line, flick it on. It takes a second to flick it on real quick. Uh, I can haul the fish in. I can talk about what tackle I used, uh, the measurements of the fish, how much it weighs, and um, how long it is. And then just flick it back off, and you're done. Um, you know, the downsides to this is obviously you can't go through the menus. The battery's built in, so I can't switch out batteries during the day. Um, however, you know, just switching it on and off for a couple seconds as I catch fish, uh, this should definitely last all day without a problem. And I mean, for 160 bucks to get a 1080p camera, 
waterproof with a really good microphone. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. So uh, I'm definitely um, excited to get this out in the water to try it out. Um, at the end of this video, I'll put a little clip um, with some comparison between the waterproof GoPro and the waterproof Contour just to show you guys. And I think you know already it's pretty easy to get better audio than the waterproof GoPro. But, uh, but I'll put that little uh, comparison up there just for you guys to check out. Um, so there it is, the Contour Roam 3. Pretty cool little camera. This is a GoPro waterproof sound check. Check it out. Can you hear me? I'm guessing I'm very muffled right now. This is a contour sound check. Checking out my GoPro that I use. Can you hear me now?